Hello, welcome to Not My Kitchen. I'm Archie Henderson. And this is the cook, the new cooking show designed for lodgers, students, or anyone that's just a bit ropey with money. I'm Archie Henderson, your host, and today we're gonna to be cooking special salmon because we haven't got a better name for it. So let's dive right in. You will need salmon, potatoes, asparagus, lemon, kitchen foil, strong, mixed herbs, and a positive mindset. First things first, you're gonna need a baking tray and some kitchen foil. We've gone strong. And you wanna make two little sheets of kitchen foil. Just like that, Not, you don't have to be fancy with it. And lay them down just on the baking tray. Obviously if you're doing one salmon, you do one, two, three, etc. So now you've got your, your base, you wanna get your salmon salmon fillets, Asda, and you want to open them up. And then you would, you just want to place them each on the kitchen foil. It's a bit slippery, be careful with it. Oh, look at that. It looks a bit greasy, wash your hands. Wash your hands, say alert. Boris, I'm alert, mate. Now the thing about salmon is, it's quite a delicate meat, quite a delicate fish. That's what salmon is, so you need to be careful when you're marinating, otherwise it might just fall away from you. First, you're gonna get your lemon, probably only need one, cut it in half. Now you probably only need a quarter. And before you just go absolutely soaking it in, you want to use about half of it, because we'll use the other quarter later on. Just squirt it on, but you want to leave, keep that quarter for later. Now you want to get some mixed herbs and just very gently tap them on. You want to be quite generous, but not, not, not too much, not too much. Now you want to press the herbs in. See, this is the key. You want to really get the flavors, flavors going here. See, it already looks like Gordon Ramsay's done it. Oh, I haven't even preheated the oven. Crap. Which one is it? That one. 180, great. Make sure you preheat your oven because we're going to be sitting here quite a long time now. Uh, 180 for salmon. Next up, you're going to get some potatoes, get a little pan. Go for a big pan, big meal. You get potatoes. Look a bit rough. Don't bother peeling them, just cut them in half so they're a bit smaller, will cook a bit faster. You probably want to do like, depending on the size, like four to five potatoes per person. Throw them in your pan, get the hot water boiling. Oh no! The potato! Right, now that that's boiling, you want to get some salt and put them on the potatoes. Nice. Mate, you want to clean as you go. You've got to keep your stations clean. Or I will kill you. I am not mummy. <laughs> right, now that you've marinated the salmon, you want to package them up. So they're like little parcels to go in the oven. Just like that, just like that. Just like Amazon. Make sure the top's are closed. There it is, and you just want to slide it in the oven, set a timer for 20 minutes. <laughs> now that the salmon's in the oven, you want to get your kettle, put the potatoes on. Turn the gas on. No. <laughs> How's this work? Now cooking. Put the pan lid on so it heats up quicker. You probably want to turn the extraction fan on. Like, whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now the potatoes are boiling, we want to turn the gas down so it doesn't bubble over and save the planet, save gas, and then just leave those. Make sure you stay hydrated whilst you're cooking. Keep the fluids up, keep the creativity coming. You want to keep an eye on the timer because when it gets to five minutes, we're going to take the salmon out and this is what makes it special salmon. I'll put them on backwards. <laughs> Take the salmon out, and what you want to do for the last five minutes, just open the packages up slightly, and this is going to allow a bit more colour to come through and it to cook a bit deeper. So put them back in for another five minutes. Also, we're going to be doing some asparagus as well to go on the side, get the greens in. You can do it with broccoli, peas, whatever, but this was what was in the cupboard. <laughs> so you can either cut your asparagus in half, but lawn's good, and you can just add it to the potatoes, get it in there, maybe add a bit more water, and there you cook in like four, five minutes. Ah, you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> right, now you wanna take the salmon out. Oh, it's looking good. Yeah, the salmon's looking good. Do you wanna get a little? Oh, yes. Now you remember I said to leave a bit of lemon? You wanna add it now. Get that all over it. Now check your potatoes. Oh yeah, they're good. Now you need to drain the potato asparagus, serve up on a plate. Bob will be your uncle. Clean as you go, people, clean as you go. Now you wanna serve up. I've done it for two. Now you wanna serve up. I've done it for two, so I'll split it in half. Get the asparagus in there. Doesn't have to be pretty, does it? That'll do! <laughs> now you want to get the salmon. Now, like I said, salmon's a delicate fish. So you want to be careful getting it out. Good and healthy. You know you cooked it well and it just slides off. <laughs> there you go. We should have used a smaller plate, but we don't know where they're kept. Great, and that was Special Salmon. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining us. If you want to see more cooking from Not My Kitchen, let us know. Um, let us know what you want to see next. Don't really know why we've done this, to be honest. We're just really bored, so. And have a great week. <laughs> I don't know what to end it.